This flashy pastor loves wearing Gucci and Fendi, but now he's trading his luxury brands for an orange jumpsuit after scamming an elderly woman out of her life savings. And she's not the only victim, so let's talk about it. Pick your cup up and get ready to grow from the drama and learn from the chaos. Lamar Whitehead, he's an American pastor from New York, Brooklyn to be exact, and he preaches at the Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries. Mmm, them long titles there. <laughs> His taste for expensive brands and luxurious living has earned him the title of the Bling Bishop. I wonder if he's followed by Pastor Toby. Excuse me. Guys. Guys, look at this. This is the best championship ring in the world right now. The detail is unbelievable. It's got my three animals there, the horse, the lion, the eagle, and the diamond in the mouth of the eagle, the ruby high of the eagle. Look at this. Um, examples of this baller lifestyle can include a steady rotation mm. of luxury fashion items okay. and jewelry, mm. and a Rolls Royce, Raw. and a 1.6 million dollar home in New Jersey. Wow, man wants to see his tags. <laughs> <laughs> According to an article in The Guardian. Now this exorbitant lifestyle shot him into the news cycle mm. when armed robbers broke into his service, got him to fork over his watches, and diamonds and emeralds. A Brooklyn bishop was robbed at gunpoint in the middle of his Sunday sermon today, and it was all caught on camera. Bishop Lamore Whitehead saw the door in the back of the room kick open. How many of you have lost your faith because you saw somebody else die? What you about to go through? Yo, yo, all right, 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 all right, right. But now, Pastor Whitehead is on the other side of the law. Wait, 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 wait. Pastor Whitehead? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not clock that from the beginning? Man's name is Pastor. Anyway. On June 17th, mm -hmm. Judge Lorna G. Schofield sentenced Whitehead to nine years for financial frauds and schemes. Lamar Whitehead facing decades in prison after a jury convicted him today on federal charges, including wire fraud and attempted extortion. What's his true heritage? Wait a damn minute. No, nah, don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> don't even go there. These convictions stem from three separate schemes. Mm -hmm. The prosecution asserts that Whitehead exploited his church position to swindle one of his congregation members out of. Sorry, wait, what? Pauline had always wanted to buy herself a home for her and her family, but her credit score had taken some hits over the years and she was turned down by every lender she approached. Despite having a deposit saved, she was never able to secure a loan. Enter her savior, Lamore Whitehead. This is mad. All right, go on. In exchange for her deposit, he would buy a home in her name through his company, Lamore Whitehead Inc. Lamore assured Pauline that her deposit would cover the house and any repairs it needed and would also leave a little bit left over. So oh, that's deep. But instead of fulfilling his promise, he squandered her hard earned money on lavish shopping sprees at Polo, Louis Vuitton and on payment for a luxury BMW. Yeah, now he's, he's taking the piss. Some demon behavior. When Pauline's son sought to recover his mother's stolen savings, Whitehead sent a chilling response via text message saying that he was asking God to enact vengeance upon the son. Oh my days, huh? But if I that sound, I would have punched him off. <laughs> At that moment, the family realized that they would never see their money or their dream of a new home again. That's crazy. I had extorted a Bronx businessman called Brandon Bellamonte. I was introduced to Bishop Lamar by a gentleman. I used to own the largest luxury car rental business in New York. It was called VIP Cars. We did a lot of music videos. We did a lot of uh, luxury high-end car rental, Rolls Royce, Lamborghinis, etc., etc. Had a body shop in the Bronx that I bought. 
and he claims that Whitehead swindled him out of five thousand dollars. Uh, I get a FaceTime. I pick up. I'm like, hey, what's up? He goes, hey, Bren, it's uh, Bishop. My wife's car got hit, G-Wagon. I said, okay. I said, you know, I'm not really at the body shop. You know I'm in real estate. I said, I'm not really in the body shop that often. He goes, well, can you fix her car? I said, yeah, that's fine. It comes to the shop. He goes, my wife needs a car to drive. I said, okay, we'll cover her rental. So I go and I rent his wife a Cadillac Escalade from Blue Street Exotics in Long Island. I pay $13,000. Now I'm into it. I have 12 grand left to play with, right? By the time I buy parts for the car, I do everything, there's no money left. He goes, I'm from the streets. He goes, and don't get this, you know, misconstrued of the way I dress and who I am. I'm from the streets. I <laughs> Starts, yo, I need my fucking five grand. I, at the time, I sold the body shop out to two guys because I don't have time to go there every day. The two guys, I go, give him his five grand. Let's move on with this situation. What? what? So the pastor promised to use his connections with the New York mayor, Eric Adams, to secure favorable treatment from the New York City government. I'm on the phone with one of my boys who used to work at the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan, and I'm telling him the story. I go, bro, I said, I think... Eric Adams is trying to extort me through this guy. He kept saying to try for me to introduce my best friend as a legit billionaire. He kept saying, introduce me to him, introduce me to him. I got City Hall in my back pocket. Eric Adams, when he was Borough Hall president, was gonna give me a $60 million construction contract. He will do anything for me. He will do anything for me. The indictment reveals that Whitehead knew he couldn't fulfill the promises, but made them anyway. You got a lot of fucking balls, you know that? Scheme free mm -hmm. is like, uh, it's not a minor in it, but compared to the scamming and no, no, things that he's been doing, yeah. He lied to FBI agents, no. claiming that he only had one phone when he actually had two. For the year. The prosecution claimed that Whitehead abused his position as a religious leader to rake in millions of dollars and pointed out that after his conviction in March, he had even tried to sell his legal documents from the case. What? Hey, lawyers are expensive. <laughs> Uh, they also highlighted his previous convictions for identity theft, where he used other people's details to secure cars and motorbikes. What is the ethnicity? I think I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. So the lady from his church, Pauline Anderson, took mm -hmm. the stand and she recounted how she spent a lifetime building her retirement fund only to lose it to somebody she had trusted. Mm. So she said, I lost everything I had worked for. And also that Whitehead's betrayal broke her heart, her spirit and her soul. Yeah, it's deep. It's brazy, bro. She comes to your church. She's part of your congregation. He just it's don't not, care. It's not like you swindle someone from across the world, which, yeah. is, which is bad too. Well, duh. Whitehead's defense attorney argued that he was a man of faith mm. who had engaged in various philanthropic efforts. He presented n a number of letters from the congregation praising his character and good deeds. I might get into trouble. I don't want to be unfair to the congregation because mm. some of them might not have known. If you learn that your church leader is being deceitful, mm -hmm. You as a congregation, you have to call that out. Like you have to. Not just because you formed a bond with this man, you let bad behavior lie. This is how you end up with these stories. The congregation care more about the pastor than they do their word of God. His attorney also suggested that he might be suffering from PTSD due to a robbery. And the stick up. Wait, wait, what? So PTSD, yeah? So he started robbing people yourself? Huh? Somebody lying. <laughs> oh, why are you lying? <laughs> why are you always lying? Whitehead pleaded with a judge for a lighter sentence saying, your honor, I am an honorable man and my children need me. He added, allow me to be the poster child of another chance. The court was unswayed by Whitehead's emotional appeal. Judge Lorna G. Schofield told Whitehead before sentencing him to nine years behind bars. In addition to the prison term, mm. Whitehead was ordered to pay restitution. And the woman got it back. So she's supposed to get it back. Oh, yeah. yes, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Rashid Anderson relieved tonight following the conviction of Lamar Whitehead, better known as the Blink Bishop for his lavish lifestyle. It's been a long time coming and we're very happy to see that the verdict was guilty today. Rashid's mother, Pauline Anderson, invested $90,000 of her retirement savings with Whitehead. Prosecutors said he spent the money on luxury goods at Louis Vuitton and Foot Locker and even used Anderson's money to make his car payments. Rashid 
testified during the trial. One of Lamar Whitehead's attorneys, Dawn Florio, said that they planned to appeal the verdict. But you know what, it's fine, because Mercy said no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, yeah, I hope he's in prison for a long time. Roughly 21 million American adults have been fallen victim to scams. Mm. In the UK, 73% of adults, and that's around 40 million people, have been targeted by scammers. And 35%, roughly 90 million people, have lost money to these kind of criminals. Mm. On average, victims lose about £1,730, yet fewer than a third 32% actually end up reporting the crime. That's crazy. And that's according to research by the National Trading Standards. Scammers may promise to get rich quick. They might pretend to be royalty of a certain ethnicity. Mm. We won't go there, but protect your money. 100. You work very hard for your money. Don't just throw it away because you have dreams of making more. Learn a skill, compound it, and that's how you're gonna make extra money. Don't agree to deals immediately. Take time. Get independent or legal advice before deciding anything. Don't hand over any money or sign any contract until you verify someone's credentials. And definitely don't fall victim to these email scams for princes that live in a different country. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sure that you don't click any external links that take you to pages that ask you to reveal your passwords and your bank codes. Look after yourself and make sure you got that free step verification, baby. You know what I'm saying? And if your Fendi wearing Rolls Royce driving parcel asks you for £90,000, tell them to f. <laughs> <laughs> that could be of God, boy. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos on controversial figures. Until the next time, my name's Sammy. My name is Don. Our house is your house. Grow from your drama and we'll see you soon. Bow.